I am attempting to repair a vehicle for an old lady. Uh, it was purchased after having been in an accident. The uh, nose of the van had to be repaired. It really wasn't that significant of a, of a problem. Um, the grill, the hood, the front bumper cover, headlight, that was about it. Even the fender was, was savable, just had a little bit of a crease in it. So anyway, um, after doing the body work, uh, or well, even before doing the body work, we weren't able to get it to start. I figured I would do the stuff I could figure out and go from there. So right now at this point, um, uh, there were some broken wires up front. They were um, for the headlights and one of the two horns and the uh, one airbag sensor, or at least I assume it was an airbag sensor, uh, on the passenger side uh, underneath the bumper cover, the wires were torn out from below it. So I patched all the wires, hoping that that would resolve the issue. Purchased the van with a bad battery, so once we got all that done, I installed a new battery in it, and now this is what happens when I turn it on. Everything lights up, just like you'd expect. However, the red dot light right there never goes away, and if we try to start it, we hear a little click. Now when I let back off the starter, the brake, ABS, and airbag lights come on just like you'd expect if you were to first turn the car on. Every time I turn the key, that's what happens. Oh, and the traction off light comes on below as well. Um, which, as I say, is what I would expect to happen if you were to cut the battery and then bring it back, which makes me think that there's a little bit of a draw on the battery when I do it. Um, the check engine light just came on, but I believe that's because the engine's not running yet. Um, there's a definite click under the hood when you turn the key. So, I'm hoping somebody can help me out with this. Any ideas? Nearest I've been able to establish, there is no um, like emergency mode. However, before resolving the wiring, anytime you had a battery connected, it would go into a, a rhythmic uh, system of turning on the emergency blinkers for like 30 seconds and then off for 30 seconds and then back on for 30 seconds. And it just did that nonstop, um, even though the emergency blinkers were not turned on. After fixing all the broken wires up front, which as I said were the headlights, the horn, and one airbag sensor, after resolving that, the uh, blinkers don't seem to come on on their own, however, it still won't start. Um, so if anybody has any insight, I would love it. Thank you very much.